what is up guys we are back with another youtube video from the title of this video you can already see but we are rebranding partially so the the reason i say partially is because um i've currently been kc resells as many of you probably know but in addition to that i'm now going to be starting a new brand called prolific kicks and so prolific kicks on instagram is essentially just where all my sales are going to go through from now on the reason behind the rebrand is really just, you know, I wanted to create a more scalable brand. KC Resells isn't necessarily the most professional name, but um, I think Prolific Kicks will be able to capture that audience, you know, pull people in with just like a, a nice creative name. But here on the YouTube channel, so I, I still am running KC Resells, which will be primarily used just for buying purposes and creating the reseller related content like this YouTube video. So I've been reselling for four years now, but even within like a year or two after I first started, I, I did want to rebrand, you know, almost immediately just to find this more professional name. But I never really got around to it because um, I, I just couldn't think of a name. You know, I that was really what held me back. And I in hindsight, I should have just done it sooner. It would have made the whole process a lot easier. But um, I stuck with KC Resales, continued to make that an LLC and then here I am today, I'm still operating under KC Resells LLC, but um, I have a DBA for Prolific Kicks, which means doing business as just using like an assumed name. So even though I am, you know, going as Prolific Kicks now on the selling side, it's still under KC Resells LLC. Just to like clear things up in case you're wondering if you're considering doing a rebrand yourself, um, just to give some background on that. And then another reason for the rebrand is just, you know, thinking long term um, in terms of clientele. So currently my followers on KC Resells are, I would say, probably 80 percent resellers and 20 percent um, end consumers or um, personal buyers, you know, people who aren't buying to then sell again. And so with Prolific Kicks, I really want to increase the number of end consumers. You know, long term, this may lead to, you know, more profits, uh, more connections, building a larger customer base of people who want to actually wear the shoes and get those people the shoes um, before, without going through, you know, an additional middleman or going through a store charging a much higher price. So, I mean, at least for now, in terms of pricing, everything's gonna be the same until I, you know, get the ball rolling with prolific kicks. I, I, I do plan on leveraging my current followers with KC Resells. Um, all the resellers who follow me are going to be you know transitioning over to prolific kicks as well but then you know i think within maybe like a month after this rebrand i will kind of distinguish further distinguish the difference between kc resells and prolific kicks where you know my my new target audience of new followers i want to bring in on prolific kicks is going to be um more toward more geared towards the end consumer so I'm not going to really be posting reseller related content on there. You know, all the new followers I bring in, I want them to think of Prolific Kicks as kind of like the sole brand. And then another thing is just, you know, over the last four years um, of reselling, I've kind of really, I feel like I've gotten comfortable in my current business model. You know, I've been running on roughly 10% margins and although it's worked, it's scaled. I, I really wanted to just try something new for this summer. I do have, you know, three and a half months here to rescale up the business, you know, go even further see behind me is nearly 300 pairs which is absolutely insane as is but you know sky's the limit we're going to be pushing all summer trying to grow this business even more see where it takes me and then i'll probably be adjusting um if you watch my my previous video something i emphasized was you know high cash flow um on low margins you know moving high volume number of pairs just to build up profit slowly like that but this summer i'm thinking I might try and lower that cash flow a little bit, you know, hold shoes a little bit longer. I actually did the math and the average hold time for a shoe for me was 12 days, which is pretty short if you think about it. So I, I have stuff in and out um, that, that's from the purchase date to when I get paid. So that like includes the shipping time too. So it's a really quick turnaround for what I've been doing so far. But um, if I try and get that up to maybe three to four weeks, I plan on uploading to the YouTube weekly once again, like I did at the beginning of this year. You know, making reseller focused content, showing you guys behind the scenes, um, cash outs, you know, packaging up orders, getting stuff out, doing things like profit breakdowns, all that good stuff. And hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two as well, because, you know, it's it's really difficult starting out not really knowing what you're doing. But just over the past four years of experience, I've been lucky enough to, you know, learn all these things and be able to help you guys out 
wherever needed to get that little boost at the beginning so you don't fall for the same mistakes that I did. That was pretty much it for the announcements, you know, just a, a quick talking segment to, to start off, but behind me I actually just started a new inventory system, so I might throw up a clip of me explaining that, but I wanted to keep this video, you know, semi-short, first one out, and then we'll resume with the content next weekend. I need to figure out a new inventory system for all of this just so it's easier for me to find pairs when they sell and then also just you know keeping track of what I have in stock and so what I'm thinking is I'm going to start giving every item like an ID number with a sticky note so on my spreadsheet it has a number and then um, on the shoes on the shoe box is a sticky note with um, with the number as well that way I can also specify things like box damage you know if, if something's been tried on because there's a couple of those in here as well, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that's just going to be my new inventory system. I'm excited to try that out, you know. And just like that, all the pairs are organized, all good to go. Every single one you guys can see. Um, I just put a sticky note with like an ID number that tracks back to my spreadsheet. And that's just going to make it a lot easier to pick out pairs when they sell, as well as distinguish when there is box damage and such for a particular particular pair especially if I have duplicate sizing all right and so kind of just like a trial run I I posted up like uh, I think around 100 Jordans onto the new page at prolific kicks just to just to kind of see what the order flow was looking like and I sold around 20 pairs it was I believe 10 orders so now I'm going to try and go through my new inventory system and try and pick out these pairs and see if it's actually helpful first we had an order of five mids so uh, Got to pull out 276 and 297. So um, all these are numbered, you know, in order. So 276 would be right here. Nice and easy. Found that one quick. And then 297 is um, back here. And then I already know that it's these three mids as well. And just to show kind of like the back end of all this, so this is like my, my inventory list, um, everything that gets posted um, over here in this second column is, you know, each shoe's individual ID number. So that's like where they are relative to the columns. And then um, in this first column, once they sell, I throw in the order number, which is something new I'm trying out with an order number. But for this one, I'm looking for order 102 right here with the Jordan 4 Thunder and the Jordan 5 Oreo. So that's ID 119 and 185. So let me just go find those real quick. 119, I already know is going to be down here. Um, nice and easy. One pair out. And then 185 is going to be in this column here. And, you know, I kind of tried to just give myself just enough space to come down here. But uh, 185... Just like that, nice and easy, pair has been found. That was actually insanely efficient in finding all these pairs and then had a couple more that are going out to StockX and Alias. But these were the 10 Instagram orders for today. As I said, this was just, you know, a trial run. I only posted like 100 pairs, so pretty solid on the new page. Um, I think we just actually hit 500 followers there already. So slowly bringing people over and then the long-term goal is to grow from there. But um yeah with this inventory system you know once you reach the point of a lot of like duplicate sizing of the same shoes and then um some of them might have you know certain flaws or box damage it, it might be hard to like distinguish all those out so in a numbered inventory system like this certainly does help that you know um then you can specify you know this certain number um pair has this damage and you can keep track that way so i find it convenient with that but the only drawback is, you know, it, it does use a lot of sticky notes. As you guys can see, there's one in every single box. So that's one drawback. It takes time to, to set that up. And then another thing is, you know, once pairs sell, there's just going to be random gaps throughout there. So constantly needing to shift things around so it stays numerically in order. And then um, also just having, like, just making room for all the new inventory as well. So I'm going to keep trying this inventory system. I, I really like how convenient it is to, you know, find all the pairs that sell. So we're going to see how it goes. Maybe try it for a few more weeks. If it doesn't work, we'll switch it up. And that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I try to keep it semi-short. Um, 
well that was the goal prior to editing i don't know how long it's going to be but thank you for watching like comment subscribe more youtube content is coming all summer long 